You're watching ETL. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to do our review for The Walking Dead, the season premiere for season six. And uh, first of all, I want to thank all of you for being here. I <laughs> didn't do my review last night because I was actually watching the Giants win and get into first place in the NFC East, which I'm very happy about. But uh, this episode was pretty good. It was so it was a solid opener. I don't really have too many complaints about it. It wasn't anything uh, overwhelmingly good. Uh, it was just kind of like a little refresher on some of the characters, meeting some new characters that apparently were there last year but weren't there. Uh, referring to Heath, of course, as one of them. Uh, Carter, of course, uh, played by Ethan Embry. Boy, he's... Uh, I, <laughs> I remember seeing him in Can't Hardly Wait. Boy, he's really, uh, he's really up there in age, huh? So, um, but the episode was pretty good. You know, obviously my favorite parts of this episode were the very elaborate plan to herd the zombies was very good. And, uh, of course, the interactions between Morgan and Rick. As you can see, as Morgan is trying to at least maybe convince himself, if not Rick, that Rick is the same man that he met. Rick is the same man that tried to bring Morgan back from the brink of insanity. So that's going to be interesting to watch as we go further because in this episode you could see Morgan disagreed with a lot of the things that Rick did. Uh, whether he did it silently, whether he did it by taking action on his own account, uh, counter to what Rick wanted, you can see that there will be a conflict there. Whether or not it will burst into something huge, uh, that, I don't know about that, but I think there will come a point where they're going to clash and one of them is going to have to give and, and that should be interesting to watch. Whether or not that comes at a point where it's detrimental to one of their lives, that's really going to be intense. So, but we're, we're still, we're still in the very beginning, early stages. They may not even have a conflict at all. Maybe this is something that Morgan is just going to accept. This is Rick. This is how he is now. And I need to accept that. I need to accept that, that he does have shades of humanity. But when it comes to protecting his family and the people he love and, and his group, he's going to do whatever it takes, including kill people. Or even go as far as killing people who he thinks might be a hindrance on the group. Uh, which leads me to Carter, uh, played by Ethan Embry. Ethan Embry, obviously, around for years, done a lot of work. Uh, it was pleasant to see him on the show, if nothing but short-lived. And um, it, was, it was an interesting, interesting uh, little tidbit between him and Rick because... Um, I think Carter had some pretty valid arguments and valid reasons as to why Rick shouldn't just be the leader or as to why this plan wouldn't work. I mean, first of all, Rick was a little bit out there last year. You know, he did have that moment where Michonne had to knock him out. Uh, he did, you know, <laughs> kill somebody in front of everyone, even if that person deserved it. But, you know, now you look at some of the people in Alexandria, despite the fact that he killed somebody who was beating his wife and someone who killed Diana's husband, uh, Reggie, I think that there's still people who have reservations. And I, when you take that into the fact that they still don't know Rick, they still don't know these people, there's going to be concerns. And I think Carter was the only one voicing those concerns. Uh, so if nothing else, you got to give him points for bravery. But, you know, at the same time, Carter didn't exactly give... Rick a chance to really kind of show what he's all about. And it took Carter almost a whole episode for him to finally be convinced that, hey, maybe this guy doesn't know what he's doing. But unfortunately, again, he met his demise. But, you know, he brought up good valid points about the, how the plan might backfire if they get through the blockade. And, and obviously the counter to that was because Carter was part of the, uh, the crew that built the wall, they could build a makeshift wall to kind of herd the zombies in the opposite direction. So, um, in terms of that, that was very interesting. We see that big uh, mine, that big quarry, where there was just zombies all over the place. I mean, there had to be tens of, at least ten to twenty thousand zombies, uh, well, maybe less, but there was tons of them. And Rick comes; he's always the one coming up with these crazy plans, and it was a very elaborate plan. But really, that's all they could do. They they don't have the firepower to match that. They don't have any explosives. To go down there and even if they did would it burn long enough to burn through all the zombies and get to their brains 
not worth it. We've seen before the burning zombies doesn't really work. It's not really effective. And so the only way is to come up with a plan to herd them. And Rick and his crew have been around these things for so long. They know how they behave, they know how they act. They're not really scared of them anymore. But you have the Alexandria group, the group that does not have that experience, that experiences flight more than anything when they see zombies, as we saw when they got attacked at the makeshift wall they were creating in the flashback. And Rick stood back and, and said, go, do it, try and fend for yourself. Morgan obviously stepped in and saved the day much to Rick's, uh, you know, Rick obviously did not approve of that. We also see Ron. Ron is an interesting kid because, you know, here's a kid who saw his father doing it. He knew his father was beating on his mother and stuff like that. But on the other hand, now his father's murdered. Uh, they're treating his father like dirt, which understandably so. And then furthermore, a girl that he probably liked looks like she's getting closer to Carl than he would ever have a chance of being, you know, Ron being close to her. So here's a kid who's really developing some issues right now. And I think he's the obvious choice as to who let off that alarm towards the end of the episode that countered the herd back towards Alexandria. But I think that's, if it's, put it this way, if it's him, it wouldn't surprise me. But if it's not him, it wouldn't surprise me either. Uh, the thing I want to know is this. Uh, is it coming from Alexandria? And if it is... How come Heath and some of the other members don't know about the alarm? How come they wouldn't know right away, hey, it's coming from Alexander, we got to shut that off? Whatever the case may be. So it could be the Wolves. Uh, obviously, they're still around. This would be a good opportunity for them to make their play. They're looters, they're hoarders. And what better way to get into Alexandria than to have it be, you know, shove a bunch of different uh, zombies in that direction to kind of cause havoc. Then when the smoke clears and everything's done, they run in there, they get their supplies, and they go about their business. So I think it was a good episode that's really just setting up a lot of things to come. Uh, it, it wasn't bad at all. I don't, I'm not saying it was bad. It just, when you compare it to last year's opener, obviously it, it doesn't compare to that. But the things about this episode that were really good, development between Morgan and Rick, Ron is somebody to keep an eye on, um, the herd, the elaborate plan to get the herd going, I, those are all... I think key points in this in this episode that made it good. Solid opener. Um, and we'll see what happens. Obviously, next week's going to be very intense. We have a slew of zombies heading towards Alexandria. Let's see how they handle it. Let's see who is going to be separated, the survivors from the non-survivors. I'm sure we're going to get a lot of losses in this next episode. And then we'll kind of stick with our core group for the rest of the season, which I'm sure most will consist of Rick's group. But we'll have a couple of people in there from Alexandria. Obviously, I think Heath looks like he's going to be in there for a bit, and uh, and we'll we'll go from there. Oh, one other interesting thing I thought uh, when Tara and Maggie had an exchange about what happened to Glenn and the other guy's name I just don't recall at the moment, uh, but you know we all know who he is. He's the guy that let Noah die and try to run off and then try to kill Glenn. And I, as far as I can recall, that's the first. And I could be wrong. It's just again I haven't. I saw season five again weeks ago and it's been sporadic but as far as i remember i don't think we've ever heard maggie acknowledge to tara that she was across the fence and that she you know when she was telling tara you know we we could still become friends now i care for you despite where you were during the worst day of my life and um <laughs> my phone's going off over here and uh so that was interesting i thought that was pretty cool that for the first time she acknowledged, at least as far as I can remember, it's the first time she acknowledged it. Uh, I know Rick acknowledged it last year, but this is the first time I heard Maggie acknowledge it, and I thought that was pretty cool that that's kind of severed now, that that whole thing, any chance of Maggie coming out and having any hostility towards Tara now is completely gone. Uh, Tara's going to be a very interesting character to watch. You know, I always thought she was going to be a breakout character last year, but she wasn't. She's kind of there. I'm just wondering what they're going to do with her, but... We'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, that's it for this review. This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news. We just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Join the nation's Facebook page to meet other subscribers or visit ETN's Facebook page and Twitter page. Links for all are in the description.